Hey guys, I'm talking back to the walkthrough. We're now on part 14. I'm a little bit croaky this morning because obviously I had a bit of. Well, actually, no, I, I didn't have a wild one last night for once. Um, hope you can hear me okay because my dad's doing the um, good old lawn mowing outside and it's probably crazy, <laughs> causing quite a bit of a racket, but you know. Anyway, so we're uh, up on this corner here to the girls' bathroom and there should be a little cutscene for us now to enjoy if we make our way along. I'll play this first. Um, nearly there. Okay, so we need to get this pipe and put it there and that will cause the. Um, the annoying spray to go up into that pipe between those pipes there, you know, which is quite awesome. Anyway, cutscene time. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I think they're so clever. <laughs> I do feel sort of him a little bit actually for crap on coil. They're always, you know, at my voice side and always being you know, picked on, well, in a, in, in a way, apart from the last bit, that's a bit of a, they sort of change sides then, <laughs> but you know, anyway, so there's the random girl, I must not get this bad boy of a stud, and here goes level 3, Crab and Goyle 1, you know, they, they certainly weren't losing any brain cells at that title, eh? Um, this level's a really sort of, you know, it's quite a short one, because it's all like, it's surrounded by the Poetry's Potion Maker and the Jewel Club, so, you know, I think they've, you, you can sort of see the Poetry's Potion being part of this level, but, you know, it doesn't happen until now, if you get what I mean. Anyway, so first of all, we need to over here and get this bad boy to work. So, so basically, we need to make Poetry's Potion using Crab and Gore's hair. First of all, we shall get on this pillar books off here, turn this wheel way along, careful, fall off here. Push this one down, that will cause the next toilet here on the ground, just chained up, go, boom! And there we go, we destroyed the toilet. How cool are we, eh? That's just the height of being cool, is destroying toilets. Um, move this up to the, the pipe there, that will cause a lovely thing to form there. Um, things will, oh yeah, and also get that broom to hit that shell, because that will get something important looks off the shelf, I should say. Um, then make this flower that destroys the horrible stench there. Makes an apple for us. Oh, Steve Jobs would be proud, eh? Uh, first of all, actually, we're going to get this little bad boy here. I always used to think, oh, it's the potion ingredient, but actually it's not. You need to put it on this, um, on this random cooling device here, I'm guessing. Turn it, and it will be great for us. A lovely cherry. <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> Put that in the potion. Nice potion actually, apart from the hair I suppose. Cherry and apple and hair. Those crazy wizards, eh? What will they come up with next? Um, ignore the random green stuff around you, but it, it won't hurt you or anything. Um, there's a character in there, but neither duck can get to it, so, you know, for now we'll just leave that. Uh, all we need now is their hair, so basically just, what let's do is just levitate it off, combine it, and that will give you the ultimate hair piece for <laughs> the poetry's potion. And here we go, put it all together and drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 it's at <laughs> I like how I do this actually. So you can still see it's there. Well, we can anyway. <gasps> Pussy <Pastique> galore. <laughs> it's like her crook shanks combined. I love it if they just laugh it off. Oh yeah, you're a cat, but that's hilarious. And they just walk away. Um, okay, should be a snake around here somewhere. Where is the snake? When does the snake start to appear then? There's definitely a snake around here somewhere. Um, I shouldn't have to to get this thing first. So get old Limos on here. Then get this chest out, as you do. Um, make this massive pipe and it will basically encourage a snake to come out. There he goes. The snake now starts to emerge. Now basically you can use this to um, get four brilliant bit bits of um, blue studs. As you can see, I'm, I'm always currently blocked by that water turret. Or that turret of water, points of water rather. So basically what we need to do is need to keep hitting the snakes that come out here four times. Two. How you get out of the way? I should be able once, but you know. No, because you're because you're sleeping as well, aren't you? So you know, I'll sort of ignore you. 
There we go, I should put it. So basically bits of it all come off together. And now we use Wingardium for Leviosa. Leviosa, not Leviosa. Um makes this amazing strong knight, which will basically stop the water torrent by turning um this um this thing here. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Turn style maybe, I don't know. Can't we just have done that with Wingardium Leviosa? Maybe it's not powerful enough, I don't know. But anyway, that stops the torrent of water. And you can now go into the Slytherin dungeon. Oh, that's good. There we go. This shit's becoming real, guys. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm just going to blue studs quickly. I should have probably got the blue studs as well. On top of that snake thing, you know. Time and energy. Effort. All those factors. Anyway, in we go. Isn't... So, so is Harry... Um, I, can't, I, I can't never tell which one's crab from the coil. Oh, well. Anyway, so we're in the common room now. <sighs> Poor Snake. Even by Slytherin standards, Draco is exceptionally a, a bit of a naughty boy. <laughs> well, I say something rude there, but well, you know, I shouldn't really swear. It's not, it's not good for you. So go along here, and we can get the lovely studs on the bouncy chairs. They are very bouncy chairs, which I'm jealous of. But we've suddenly gone from being up in the top bit of the castle to being quite low down now. She's having fun there, isn't she? She's, she's living the dream here. Uh, so, this fish bowl here, open it. The fish will jump out, as all fish do, when their tanks are left open. Because the fish, you know, love air. As if they don't. <laughs> yeah, so get it into this tank. That will cause the skeleton to come up. You can then lift it out and lift its eyes back into the snake. And this will then open. Oh, like a bell ringing. And now it comes back. Out comes my boy. Like his own private area. <laughs> Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're going. It's all still at the faces, but they go. If for some reason they look at um, Malfoy's broomstick and that makes them decide, oh, he wants a broomstick with a picture of him on it. He can't be the air So there you go. That's a quite a short level diamond dust in now. True wizard got loads of stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue story. Yeah, as I said, it's a really quite short level. It's still, still quite good though. Oh, I mean, it, that doesn't require too much effort, I suppose. There's nothing really sort of, you know. Mm. Oh, cut it. What's we got? Mm. Be careful, Hermione. Huh? You know what Hogwarts is like? It's full of mm. giant snakes just running around the place. <laughs> oh, poor Hermione. Mm. I do feel for her, even though she's like a Lego piece. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Uh. So basically they decided now, because they've got a Lego piece that Hermione was found with one as well, that this has something to do with the girls' bathroom. As you do, you know, not the boys' bathroom, it must be the girls' bathroom. Well, actually no, of course it is a girls' bathroom, because Hermione was found with the bit of piping. Actually it's a girl, that makes sense to go to the girls' bathroom. What am I saying? Anyway, put aside the floating cauldrons, it's time for level 4, and it's in the same place we started off last time. Um, this one basically deals with a how Harry meets Tom Riddle. It's quite an interesting level. Um, quite different to the movie, I must say. But, you know, that's what makes the game brilliant in that it's not afraid of changing the storyline a bit, you know, just to, 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 to make the gameplay more varied and enjoyable. There's old um, Moaning Myrtle there, waiting for us to come in. We go, to, go towards her, she starts singing. It's not moaning as much as it's singing, you know. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so in the next part, I know it's been quite a short part, but you know, in the next part I shall do the level, level four, which I believe is called the Diary or Tom Riddle, one of the two. I'll get it right in the next part anyway. See you then.